Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Boone, coming at you guys a brand new video. Uh, tomorrow is the Scarface drop, I'm so excited. Thanks for the love you guys showed to that last video I made about the Scarface drop. You all seem to really like the lamp. Uh, you guys all have, like, we're really all over the place with the t-shirts, which I think is really cool. That means it's a really good drop if people are, like, choosing, like, several different items as their favorite. So I'm so pumped, you guys. Tomorrow's gonna be lit. I'm gonna be doing a live cop tomorrow for you guys for the drop. I'm so excited. But today we're gonna be talking about some photo tees I think Supreme should do. Uh, I actually went on my live stream earlier today on Instagram. Follow me at see how it's like you guys want to. I go live on there all the time talking to you guys. You guys help me with some ideas on the live with some photo tees Supreme should do. And I think we have a really, really cool list. Uh, I'm just gonna like go by each person, talk about it a little bit. I'm gonna hopefully try to make some crappy little graphic up on the screen of like an image that'd be cool for a photo tee they could use. And I'll maybe throw a Supreme box logo on it. Maybe not, who knows. The question of the day I have for you guys today is who do you wanna see on a photo tee? I think we could come up with some really, really good ideas in the comments down below you guys. Uh, anyone that comes to mind, like maybe whoever your favorite artist is or one of your favorite people in history, comment them down below and let's think about if we should put them on a photo tee. Let's see who gets the most likes. Likes, and I'm gonna shout you out my video tomorrow. I want to see some good ideas from you guys So drop your comment down below right now Also, I forgot to say you guys the giveaway is now over for all the supreme stickers as well as the pal sticker in the description down below You will find the giveaway video. I took I did on my Instagram live uh, Yeah, go check it out if you guys would like to see the winner see if you won who knows maybe you did uh, But let's get in the video you guys let's start off the list number one is gonna be the thing I want the most for them to do which is the Kurt Cobain photo tee. you guys know I love Nirvana I love Kurt Cobain They've put a couple of different artists on the photo tees. I think Kurt Cobain goes really well along with the whole Supreme vibe. Like he's definitely got this grunge vibe to him. Uh, he's a very like interesting original character. Kurt Cobain really truly like did his own thing. Didn't give a shit. Didn't care about the fame or anything like that. Kind of stuck true to himself, which Supreme for a while was doing. Uh, when Supreme first was really blowing up and stuff, they didn't raise prices and everything. They still really haven't raised prices to a ridiculous amount, even though they could. Um, they don't really care about the fame and stuff. I mean, obviously Supreme kind of does probably care about the fame. I don't know what it is. I just think Kurt Cobain and Supreme would go really hand in hand. I think a photo too would be so, so cool. Uh, but the problem is, somebody brought this up to me that Supreme only does photo tees of people on the East Coast. Let me know if that's true. Like, do you guys think that's 100% true? They like make sure that the people they put on photo tees are only from the East Coast? Or is that just kind of coincidental? I have no idea. Uh, you guys tell me in the comment section down below. But yeah, my first one, Kurt Cobain, would be so lit. I wish they would do that. That would be a dream for me. But I don't know if that's one's gonna happen. Let's just pray. The next photo tee Supreme should make is Mia Khalifa. That's like a no-brainer. I mean, she's a porn star. She's got a big rack. So obviously she should be on a photo tee. Uh, I'm just playing you guys. Somebody on my live came up with that and I thought it was a funny idea. Uh, actually though, the next idea I have for a photo tee that I think would be super, super cool is Betty Boop. Somebody gave me this idea. Uh, I thought that would be such a cool thing. Uh, Supreme like has never really touched on any kind of characters or anything like that. They've only done in real life people uh, when they've done their photo tees. I think it'd be so, so cool if they introduce some like vintage character that's not even a person and put them on a photo tee. Betty Boop's definitely like a very easily recognized character. She's a very popular vintage design. I just think that'd be so like original and cool on a Supreme shirt. They've done a Betty Boop collab in the past that I've talked about. Oh, I actually have the Betty Boop sticker on my laptop. Um, I think if they did a photo tee with Betty Boop, that would just be so cool. I don't know that that one would ever happen. I so highly doubt it, but like that's Supreme's fault. They're missing out on some cool ideas. Honestly, they just need to make me a creative director. Let's be real. Go spam their comment section. Make Boone the creative director of Supreme. <laughs> oh my god. I can wish, alright? I can wish. Probably not gonna happen, but I don't know. Maybe you spam their comment section enough. Like, who knows? Uh, the next idea I have would be Lauren Hill. I think this is actually very plausible. Like, this could happen. Lauren Hill is a part of the Fugees. She is one of the most recognized females in all of hip-hop. They just had Nas on the photo tee, and Nas himself is like an iconic character in the hip-hop game. I just looked it up and Lauren Hill is actually from New Jersey, so I could see this totally happening. Uh, I actually would not be surprised. I hope I somehow like predict it with this like video just because they haven't done a girl in a while. They did Kate Moss, but they haven't really done a lot of girls on photo tees I can think of at all. Like, is Kate Moss the only girl that's been on a photo tee? Let me know if I'm wrong, but I swear I can't think of another girl that's been on a photo tee, and I think Lauren Hill fits perfectly. The Fugees were like huge in New York when uh, hip-hop was really first taken off in the early 90s. I think this would be such a cool photo tee that needs to happen. Uh, I, this is probably like the idea in this entire video that I think is the most likely 
likely to happen. I really do hope it does, but we'll just have to see you guys. Who knows? Supreme is very unpredictable. You can say that. Next idea I have is another hip hop person that's in New York. This is a kind of obvious one. Jay-Z. I don't know if this would ever happen. I could see it happening just because he's got so much notoriety in New York, just like Nas did. Uh, I believe he was born in New York. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty positive he was just because he shows so much love to New York. He has to be from New York. Uh, like Empire State of Mind. I think Jay-Z I could definitely also see being on a photo tee just because he's such a historic big name. I feel like Jay-Z is too relevant still right now though in the mainstream for them to put him on a photo tee. It seems like they put people on photo tees a little later in their careers like they did with like Neil Young, Morris with like Nas, like with all the rappers and artists they put on their photo tees. Um, but again, a lot of those people were like older and like back in the day when they were in their prime, Supreme was even making photo tees. So who knows? I think we could maybe see Jay-Z. Uh, I think it's definitely likely just because he's from New York and Supreme throws so much love to local New York people and all their designs. I'm actually surprised now that I think about it that there hasn't ever been any kind of Jay-Z shirt uh, from Supreme. Next idea I have is Guy Fieri, the man himself. This would be so lit. I, you cannot tell me you would not buy a Guy Fieri photo tee and if you're gonna say that you wouldn't buy a Guy Fieri photo tee you're just dumb like you're wrong I don't like want to hear your opinion because my guy Guy Fieri that's my Guy Fieri I should say um, is so lit and I think that would be the funniest photo tee of all time he's got like the flame button up over the like supreme t-shirt that would be so lit I've already seen like a picture revolving around of Guy Fieri on a photo tee for Supreme and it's like one of the funniest pictures in the world. I swear this would be such a lit photo tee. I wish Supreme would just make a joke photo tee for the one time because I think it would catch on uh, and I just want to see Supreme meme itself because that would be funny as hell. Next idea I have, this one I think is really really cool. We got Marilyn Manson. Think about how dope Marilyn Manson would look on a photo tee. With all his makeup on just looking super like pissed off. I think that would be such a sick looking photo tee. Marilyn Manson has some like hard rock vibes to himself. I actually don't know what genre to call him, so don't even roast me if I just said he's hard rock and you guys are like, oh my god, Boone just said Marilyn Manson's hard rock. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I don't know what like genre to call him, but they've done like they've done a collab with Slayer, they've done collabs with Misfits. Like I feel like they could definitely do a collab with Marilyn Manson and make a sick photo tee. Somebody came up with this in my live stream again. This one I thought was such a cool idea. I would love to see this. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end this video off with one last idea for somebody they should put on a photo tee. I don't actually think we'd ever see this one happen because this person is so prolific in history that I feel like they would almost feel like they're like selling out his image by putting him on a photo tee. It's Malcolm X. I think Malcolm X would be an amazing photo tee idea, but it's like he's such a prolific name and I feel like Supreme wouldn't want to monetize and gain uh, monetarily from a dude that's like got such a historical uh, significance. I don't know, I guess I could totally see from that standpoint putting like Malcolm X on a Supreme shirt. But I do think it would be a really, really cool photo tee. And one thing I really enjoy about Supreme is whenever they drop a photo tee or just like anything uh, having to do with some kind of historical relevance, it makes some people learn more about that historical thing. Certainly with photo tees that exists, with other t-shirts that happens as well. I've actually made videos about shirts before and had you guys comment down below like telling me the historical significance of shirts I talked about that I didn't even know which is so so cool to me and one of my favorite things about Supreme I've said this before I think a Malcolm X shirt would be super super cool but I can't see Supreme ever doing it this is the entire list I came up with and you guys helped me do it as well uh, of people that I think they should put on photo tees let me know again you guys what you would like to see on a photo tee down below anything like you can comment anything I think that Supreme should start switching up their photo tees more and just do really obscure stuff that would be so sick Thank you all so, so much for watching this video yet again. Drop a like if you haven't already. I love you if you do. If you don't, I still love you. It's all good. I understand. I don't like videos sometimes on YouTube as well. I totally feel it. But you guys, this is like a week now of uploading in a row. I'm so, so happy. Like this upload streak's been amazing. My channel is doing so well and I cannot thank you guys enough. Like I literally wake up every morning just so motivated, so excited. It feels so good to have like a schedule. Like I'm posting new stuff on my Instagram, new inventory every day. I'm making a new video every day and talking to all you guys and like I'm just like in such a good place right now with my life and I owe it all to you guys. Thank you all so so much. I cannot say it enough. Uh, the giveaway is over. Like I said, description. Go check if you want to see the giveaway winner. There's a video of it. Also go check out my web store or my Instagram if you'd like to. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said before, it's been your boy Boone. I'm out. Peace. All right, what's up everybody? I'm on Insta Live right now. Yo, you guys, say what's good to YouTube hella quick. If you're on this live right now, say what's good. Hold on, let me get myself in this. Yo, what's up? You guys, say what's good hella quickly. Um, it's drawing time right now. It just hit 2 p.m. 
Um, <laughs> you guys are about to see yourselves in my video. It's lit. Uh, so it's now 2 p.m. So I'm about to draw for this giveaway. You already know how we rock in. Uh, everyone's saying what's up. It's funny. Here, let me get that in focus. Hold up. I gotta get all the gang in this bitch. There we go. This dude said follow him. Don't follow Wavy Brandon. You'll regret it. I'm just playing. <laughs> Alright, it's drawing time now, boys. I gotta get this on the screen. Hold on, let me reverse the live for you guys. Alright, 1 through 283. I got everybody on this list. I swear to God. Let me scroll through it real quick. Sorry, live stream. I gotta, like... Use this live. I'm recording with both hands right now. It's difficult, but you guys can see. Here, let me show the live. Everybody is in this. All right, it's time to draw. One through 283, and the winner is 166. It goes to 166. So let's go see who that is. Let me scroll up. 166 is William Hosking. Shout out to William Hosking, bro. I'm gonna shout you out in my next video, I guess. You gotta DM me. Um, and yeah, let's get it. Appreciate everybody that joined this giveaway. Like, shout out to all of you. This shit had so many people in it. 283 people is ridiculous. Thank you guys so, so much.